it is the hosts that play the minos england play afghanistan well more like a champion team versus the minos right the champion team has been like you know england has been playing very very well the top order coming if if jason roy is fit i think he is the first choice opener along with johnny bairstow looks like jason roy is not in so we have uh, james win coming in uh, to partner johnny bairstow yes and, and uh, yeah joe root in phenomenal form but he's a proper number 3 see proper number 3 and uh, they have a good batting lineup and the master stroke the other day was bringing in chris wokes of course the situation demanded that but then chris wokes was good at top of the order and then yeah i think uh, bringing in chris wokes uh, while two of their uh, top order batsmen were injured uh, against the low score was fine but this is a match where if england is batting first put up a big score look at up in their uh, net run rate and this is a match where you know guys like morgan and uh, people who have not been really getting into the they need some uh, extra batting time so maybe morgan will uh, move up the order and then uh, yeah morgan's position is fixed i think uh, this match is also where uh, stokes will have a big time uh, having said that uh, we need to talk about the afghanistan bowling right see afghanistan bowling can can be you know they have been disciplined but then they don't know uh, they are much of it is pedestrian i haven't seen them so incisive what happened to that world champion uh, standard of rashid khan rashid khan see it is like this you are fixed in a fixed in, a, in an image per se i would say you know you are the world's best t20 player your people are rooting for you this so kind of thing bowling 10 this hours. is this is not known for an afghanistani bowler you know that kind of image probably the kid wants to take wicket every other ball and he's trying extra no he's also trying to contain so yeah he needs to be the same attacking uh, bowler right nabi has uh, and on these english start. wickets on these english wickets if you are seeing you have to adjust to the pace very quickly because you if you are bowling a bit slow then the ball will sit up and precisely if, what nabi did in the first match nabi got four wickets he bit he bowled extremely well but then after that uh, see they also had a wash out and most of them are uh, missing that continuity of match practice uh, right. hopefully uh, the afghanistan bowlers will see make some it's like this you just cannot rely on extreme uh, spin of rashid khan mohammad nabi and uh, mujib you will also have your pacers come to the party at some point of time zadran has been decent but uh, he is not looking like a wicket taking bowler see it is like this huge uh, it is the same kind of situation where you know uh, english uh, conditions india and sri lanka have been in probably two decades ago that you find that prodigious swing or you find that seam movement you want to try that extra you don't need to try that extra because it's the same conditions where uh, you will bowl and the opponent yes, team and, bowl uh, uh, so we need to talk a little about the uh, standard of england bowling and uh, afghanistan batting i feel right. english bowling uh we've seen that uh, plunkett wood and jofra archer have been phenomenal in this jofra game. archer he does not put an effort into the uh, bowling uh, run up if you see but then he's consistently clocking something like 140 plus 145 being the fastest ball he's bowled why england is looking like uh, tournament favorites already they look like uh, they've not had a bad day at work they as yet they have a bad day and even if they have a bad day today i don't think uh, afghanistan is going to be a big test no afghanistan is not a big test but then it's a great chance for uh, england to up their run rate and then you know make sure that uh, it's a game plan see when there are so many washouts all around you if you have a higher uh, superior run rate in case of a tie you have a team that can you can beat and then move into the top 4 true so england is going to look at uh, not just putting up points but Making a big uh, difference. They are, in that uh, <laughs> it is one of the things on their agenda. They want to be the first team to touch 500. If their chance in this World Cup, Today <laughs> it would be like an opportunity. It would be their opportunity to be the first team to touch that 500 mark in one day so international. Let's, let's wait and watch today's match. Looks like uh, yes, uh, an easy passage for England today. Either you control or you give up is what Afghanistan will try, will Precisely. do.